Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, your titular, wink, first timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title, <laughs> Matthew the Movie Monster. And then in parentheses it says, then Emily, you have to roar on camera. <laughs> you nailed it. I did it. <laughs> Love the name too. <laughs> yeah, that one was submitted by Brian Logston. Uh, thank you so much for that. You too can submit titles for Matthew by dropping them in the comments below. If you use hashtag title, it makes it a lot easier for me to find. And of course we have Pippin. He's our cat. He loves naps, mostly up here, but also sometimes on the floor. So if he disappears, don't fret, that's where he went. For those of you joining us for the first time, hello. What we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that typically I've never seen, but that Matthew has, i.e. Cinema Sherpa. Uh, that being said, I do know today is one of our just some super fan Patreon picks. Mm -hmm. Matthew, what are we watching? Today we are watching the 1985 zombie flick, the Return of the Living Dead. And as per usual, I give you the year, genre, and title. You go in whatever you already know, then we watch it and review it. So what do you know? I know I'm confused by all the names of the zombie movies. I thought this was in black and white, but when I pulled the movie up, it was in color. So <laughs> I don't know what's the Living Dead, what's the Return, what's the Night Of, what's the Day Of. Um, so I don't know, it's zombies. That's all I know. <laughs> I'm so confused by all of the names. Okay. I would have assumed by the title Return of the Living Dead, you would think this is a sequel to Night of the Living Dead. Well, yeah. Which we've watched. But I don't know because there's so many other ones. Okay. Like. Fair enough. Is it? I don't know. We'll see. Well, the only other thing for first time viewers, you may see me with in my hand at some point during the movie. It's because I'm taking notes on things to talk about afterwards. And with that being said, I'm ready to watch. Let's go. You need a medical supply. Okay. 3rd, 1984. 5.30 Eastern Daylight Time. Well, I got another hour's work to do. The kid's going to stick with me and then I'll show him the ropes. Okay, Freddy. Follow me and learn something. Now you get some Excelsior over there and lay it in that crate. Excelsior. Now help me get her in. Grab her legs. Here's something you <gasps> don't see very often. These are split dogs. Mm. Yep. For veterinarian schools. Oh, don't like rad. that. Yeah. <clears throat> don't fool around. You're learning. That's <laughs> <laughs> where we keep the fresh cadavers. Yeah. Well, say hello. Um, surely they're not stored like that. Tell you what I'll do, kid. I'll teach you how to fill out these shipping forms. Okay. Look alive. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Why the hooks in the ears? Because. Oh. Are we gonna party tonight? Oh. Yeah, well, what the hell? And I ain't in no mood to die tonight. <laughs> I like death. I like death with sex. How about you, Casey? You like sex with death? Yeah, so fuck off and die. Oh, God. What? But I'm supposed to meet Freddy when he gets off work. Why don't we all go pick Freddy up? Freddy always knows where there's a place to party. There. Oh, man. This is not what I expected. <laughs> is it not? No. <laughs> What's the weirdest thing you've ever saw in here? Did you see that movie? Night of the Living Dead. Oh, wait, what? Did you know that movie was based on a true case? What really happened was there was a chemical spill and the army shipped all that contaminated dirt and all those dead bodies out and they kept it a secret. Oh. <laughs> the transportation department got the orders crossed and they shipped those bodies here. What? Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wanna see him? The corpses. <laughs> it's this guy! Alright, in case of emergency, call 1 800. Oh boy. No. What the hell? He just used the whole damn roll! What the hell? Leak? Hell no. These things were made by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Oh, no. Hey, guess what? They leak. They leak. And that's the story of how Freddy turned into a zombie. Oh! Uh-oh. Oh, that's... Well, goodness. Oh, my. Uh-oh. 
Oh, no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good thing y'all ain't got a surplus of stock right now. Oh, boy. Now all these dumb kids are gonna come over here and spread the zombie situation. Pacific, oh, we all over the place. What's for dinner? Your favorite, lamb chops. I had them for lunch. Oh, wow. I guess I'll just go f myself. It's 1600, uh, make that 1601 hours. I'll be home all evening. Oh, well, that microwave stuff affects my oven. Mm. If we find them, you can have the equipment taken out. Look, we've been through all this before. They could be anywhere. Oh, boy. How can you guys only come around when you need a ride someplace? Oh, no, no. Punks. They give punks a bad name. I think those are just dicks. We could go fool around in there for a while. You mean that oh. cemetery? Oh. oh, let's do that. Oh, okay. Honey, what are you doing hanging out with these goobers? What's that? Road flares ass white. What do you want with those? I just want to party. Oh, man. I can't wait to watch you guys die. They just want to party? The more I look at her, she looks this like some kind of wish version of uh, Chitara. I was thinking more of wish version of David Bowie. Ziggy Stardust. You know what? <laughs> yes. Oh, goodness. Get that man some water. Eh. What the hell happened to the body? Christ, I never smelled anything like that before. <laughs> Listen, I don't guess we better tell Bert about this. It makes us look stupid or something. Uh. <laughs> Maybe open some windows, you dumbass. What was that? They just ingested zombie toxin. They're not Sounds thinking like straight. <laughs> oh, no. 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 <laughs> no. 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 Sore. <laughs> Lock it in. Oh, good luck with that. We gotta call the cops. No, 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 no. You don't want to call the cops. What about the number on the side of the tank? No, that's the army. You don't want the goddamn army around this place. I think you're missing the big picture, you dummy. Who does he say we're gonna call? The boss. Oh. Bert, <laughs> Frank, we have a little problem. <laughs> Do you ever fantasize? Oh, boy. About being killed. Oh goodness. For me, the worst way would be for a bunch of old men to get around me and start biting and eating me alive. Uh. They would tear off my clothes. Oh, titties! Uh, what? Um. Oh! Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, goodness! Yeah, you can't show that on YouTube. <laughs> uh, to just a whole pussy, okay? <laughs> like... We destroy all this evidence around here. We'll keep our mouth shut. That's it! Let's do that, Bert! How do you kill something that's already dead? Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. It's not a bad question, Bert. <laughs> In that movie, they destroyed the brain to kill him. Is that what they did? The brain, right? Yeah. Freddy, you gotta open that door. Uh -uh. Come here. You stand right over here. Brain it with that axe. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, Fred, come here. Get down there. Fred's like, I ain't getting paid near enough for this shit. Uh-uh. Uh <laughs> oh, him go fast. Him go fast. Oh, he got jaundice. Oh, God, he murdering you. Oh, Lord. That's a fast zombie. Oh, God, no! Oh! The brain! The brain! I hit the fucking brain! Here goes something else, for God damn it, they don't say! For God? Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Um. Headless body of Agnew. Um. <laughs> You said if we destroyed the brain, it'd die. It worked in the movie! Well, it ain't working now, Frank. You mean the movie line? <laughs> this is a 
circus of ineptitude, and I love it. You mean the movie? That, I mean. Ernie's got a crematorium across the street, Frank. Why don't you put your clothes on? The show's over. What's the matter? Does it make you nervous? I'm hot. Take the fucking leg warmers off. Nobody understands me, you know that? Oh. I mean, I got something to say, you know? Oh. What do you think this is all about? You think this is a fucking costume? A this little. Way of life. Oh. So this movie's still not what you expected? No. I'm so f <laughs> confused and befuddled. Is that the pit of despair guy? I don't believe so. What do you say, Ernie? You gonna scare Ernie to death. <laughs> Woo! Damn, Ernie don't f*** around! <laughs> Ernie said, you know I keep that thing on me. Uh, if I ask you a favor, could you keep it quiet? Sure. What is it? All right, All right, what is that? Shit. <laughs> I feel like that was just <laughs> happened. And yeah, not scripted. They left it in, yeah. <laughs> Jacket, just say fuck you. Mm hmm. Okay. What the hell is in those bags? Rabbit weasels. Uh. What? You have a crematorium, right? You want to burn them? Yeah, that's what I had in mind. That's what I had in mind. Uh-uh. Oh! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Oh, they had New Balance back in the 80s? Yeah. Ernie, we got a... We got a long story to tell. <laughs> We've had a doozy of a day. <laughs> hey, my watch stopped. What time is it? Going on 10. Oh, fudge. I better get over and find Freddy. I'm so confused by your choice of compatriots. Also, you got like a telephone cord in your hair. What's happening? It was the style. Was it? For those of us that have style. Those of us. Hey, when did this come out? 85. What were you? Just been born? Don't worry about that. <laughs> I was born with style. Well, oh, oh, oh. Damn, I've been got. <laughs> You're going to owe me a big one. Oh. Ah. Ah. Some big favor. I can operate that goddamn thing. Dust to dust. Oh no. Oh yeah. Oh no. We didn't think this through. I like this music though. Oh well good. The rain will wash away the vapors. <laughs> well. Freddy? Anybody? Oh well you be careful about that. If you ask for anybody you might get anybody. I'm sure it's nothing terrible. <laughs> Luckily, caskets are watertight, and this won't be an issue. Well... <laughs> Frank, I don't know about you, but I'm really sick. When that canister cracked, this gas squirted out, it hit us right in the face. It turned y'all into zombies. You're just not dead yet. Oh, scared me. Paramedics over here, right over here. Resurrection Funeral Home. Resurrection. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I get it. <laughs> Freddy. Oh Lord. Freddy. Uh oh. What's this then? Thought they closed that thing. Hmm. Did they? I thought they did. Who's there? Oh, what now? <laughs> Oh. Oh, she dead. Oh, she dead. Um. Oh, he coming. What? Is that like a animatronic mm -mm. puppet costume? Oh, this is an enterprising zombie. Oh, wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> oh no. Yep. Oh, him dead. <laughs> no, Austin. Mm -mm. We'll see you. Stick your tongue out for me. Oh, yeah, he got the jaundice. Oh, oh he got no blood pressure. What's better? I can't hear anything through my. Well, I'm not getting anything on this either. Mm-hmm. What's wrong? What's wrong is you're dead. What do you have? 70. 
Oh. 70 what? 70 degrees. Well, what's that? That means you're dead. That's a to get over there. Oh, oh, oh. The fuck was that? Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, okay, so... It's party time. Uh-huh, it seems that way. Bitch, get up, you dumbass! No, leave her, let her die. Well, guess what? Surrounded by a bunch of old men mm -hmm. biting you. Technically, you're not alive. Except you're conscious, so we don't know what it means. Dead people don't move around and talk. Well, fun story. Freezing, you're dead! Don't ah! shoot you! Are you crazy? Are you on PCP? <laughs> Christ, Jesus. Sounds like people screaming. You get the stretchers. I'll get on the radio and phone this in. Ah! Woo! He's quick! He's quick! Oh my god! Oh, Lord. Oh, y'all was just trying to do your jobs. You were good people. You didn't deserve mm, that. No good deed goes unpunished. I don't know. Use a oh no. You checking in? Mm -hmm. Ah! Hold my hand, Pippin. I'm scared. <laughs> what the hell? It's zombies. <laughs> no, I've been bitten. Oh god. Pippin <gasps> said brains. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Them talkie zombies! Mm -hmm. But are you alright? <coughs> what did you do to Freddy? There's some chemical that soaked into the soil of the graveyard and made the corpses come back to life. I breathed it, Tina. <laughs> what did it do to you, Freddy? Well, it killed me. Now my arms and legs are crabby. <laughs> what are you doing, honey? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. That's blood pooling up. Uh, easy, easy. <laughs> That's terrible. I hate that. Watch out! Hey! Watch out! Don't go over there! Don't ah, brains. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this somewhat reminds me of playing Call of Duty Zombies. Spend the money! Build the boards! <laughs> Oh, he got you. He got you. You dead. Oh, he. Oh, no. You gone. You gone. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Oh, no. Oh, I got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Well, I don't understand what you want with it, honey. I figure I had to kill it. I mean, I mean, it's not going to get loose, right? No, Zombie titties. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't be afraid. I'm buzzing in the damn head. <laughs> you can hear me. Yes. Oh no! Why do you eat people? Brains. Why? The pain. It makes the pain go away. How are you doing that? Animatronics? Puppetry. Oh lord. Uh huh. She's back. <laughs> Where's all her bite marks? Good lord! <laughs> For Christ's sake, we just want to lock them in another room so we can figure out how to get the hell out of here, all right? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Let's just leave them and get out! I'm not leaving Freddy! All right, bye, bitch. Stand by while we investigate. Mm-mm. Eventually, when enough people stop responding, surely they'll send people in mass. What do you think about this, Pippin? Oh, you make a good point. Freezer, I'll blow your fucking brains out! <laughs> Everybody that comes in gets swallowed up. Send more cops. <laughs> <laughs> what am I proposing? I think we all should do some damn proposing. <laughs> space in the ceiling. We could go up, barricade ourselves in. One thing we think can leave this world suffering. What, Freddy? What? The brains. brains. Yeah, like, you knew this was gonna happen, you dummy. Uh-oh. 
Uh-oh. <laughs> you just do 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 now. Oh no. Oh Lord of mercy. Pippin said he gotta go. Yeah. Unnecessary. Oh, Lord. Now y'all done busted Ernie up. Wait, wait. I just realized. Bert and Ernie. <laughs> Ew. Uh. Well, he big. He big mad. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'd be mad too if somebody threw ass in your face. Fair enough. Oh no, you gonna die. Oh, what's the plan here? You better go somewhere. Get somewhere quick. Coward? Oh great, now they're... What the fuck? Um, a phone? You're in a cop car, you dummy! It's called a radio. That fucking car is total, man. That's all right. My car's still out there, and so is Frank's. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> About that. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Oh. Oh. Forgive me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He did say he could operate that thing himself. Yeah, he did. There we go. Took y'all long enough. What? Yeah, I'm judge. Oh no! <laughs> Stop it! I love it. <laughs> Another phone in the basement. The basement! You know what's in the basement? One of those corpses, man. A real ugly one, all black and slimy. Ew. Ew. Oh, Lord of mercy. Looked a bunch of people in the cemetery who start staring mad and they'll kill you and eat you if they catch you. It's like a disease. It's like rabies, only fast. Oh, Lord. Oh, here she come. Lord of mercy. <laughs> How come she got the big mouth? What the fuck? How's she special? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling the number stenciled on the side of the tank. Denver, this is Wichita. I've got a COY priority on a 113. Who's up? That would be Colonel Glover. Yes. Yes, put him on. <laughs> Go back to sleep, Martha. <laughs> uh, when did this take place? So, uh, what did you do then? And what did they do? How many did you say? And how many acres does this cemetery cover, sir? Hold on. Are you sleeping in a robe? Ew. <laughs> I'm going to switch it back to Captain Turner now. He'll talk to you. Are we about to nuke him? It looks like we've found that lost consignment of Easter eggs. Easter eggs. Wow. Well, sir, it would be good news, except that the eggs have hatched. Oh. Apparently they got some sort of contingency plan to deal with it. That's great. Ah. Yes, sir. All right, sir. Oh. Archimedes, hot dog, rhubarb, niner, zero, niner. Gotcha, sir. Range mark. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a contingency. Twenty square blocks destroyed. Oh, Less only four thousand dead, General. Wow. I wouldn't worry about the fires, General. The rain is taking care of that right now. Oh no. Uh, the rain will wash everything away. That's correct, sir. Um. All should be back to normal by morning. Wow. Something that's already dead. Well, how do I know, Fred? I don't know. Let me think. I love. Brains. Oh my god. <laughs> Brains. 
<laughs> Send more cops. <laughs> it worked in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so, that was the return of the living dead. Brains. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and say, when you asked me what movie we were watching, I specifically said zombie flick, because I didn't want to say like horror comedy, I didn't want to give you any kind of idea, just in case you were thinking of long, along the lines of Night of the Living Dead. I was. Um, I thought that this was, especially after you said, you know, I'm surprised you didn't think that this was a sequel. Like, I did, but also, so I wasn't sure about, like, the, the timeline, you know, like, because the Night of the Living Dead came out in, like, 60-something. Yeah, 68. And this one was 85, so I was like, maybe there was another one in between here. Um, I don't know. But anyways... Yeah, I was thinking this was going to be much more serious um, than it was, and I saw very quickly. No, I was concerned at first. I was like, "Oh no, is this just is this just a bad movie?" And then I realized, "Oh no, 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 it's campy. No, this is hokey. This is in this is intentional." Okay, thank goodness. Jeez Louise. Mm -hmm. First and foremost, the makeup and the puppetry animatronic whatever it was that they used was great fantastic i'm so glad that everybody died <laughs> and for nothing for nothing in fact made it so much worse that contingency plan didn't work at all not at all we just nuked an entire city for shits and giggles and and then like made the 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 area of infection so much larger pretty apropos of what I imagine would happen with us. Possibly. We got some oh, ooh, titties. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then some. Galore. They just put her her full, full on vagina out there. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I will enjoy this much more the second time around. Because even at the end there, when it was just kind of going through some of the highlights and the, the funny parts, I was mm -hmm. like, yeah, okay. <laughs> the movie lied? <laughs> you mean the movie lied? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think that this is definitely one that you rewatch, uh, especially with like friends. And then you got to meet Tar Man. I did. Um, <laughs> brains. Brains. <laughs> like the over enunciation of the mouth, I thoroughly appreciate it. I have. And this is stupid because obviously this is a a goofy take on zombies, right? Uh -huh, oh boy. I well, just, you say goofy, but I'll, I'll get back to that in a minute. And so I had some continuity questions because. Why? <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead. So let's hear them. Okay, topless girl. Well, naked girl. She got like multiple bites, was just ate up, but yet like. When she came back, she was just perfectly fine. Like the, the this this was a little fucked up, but the rest of her body was just like pristine, other than you know the pallor. Uh, but uh huh. What's, what's the, the, the point? What well, the guy with the buzz with the? Uh, do you think this is a you know a costume? That guy he took like one bite to the brain and he didn't come back. Why that? Okay. He was a big guy. <laughs> oh okay. So I'm assuming the bigger the guy, the longer it takes for the virus to oh, take hold. Okay, and she did get bit a lot. So, yeah. okay. All right. You know what? You got me. That <clears throat> doesn't answer the question of how she, like, magically healed from those bites. But, I don't see why you have a problem with this. Well, I mean... <laughs> I didn't have a problem with it. <laughs> I didn't have a problem with it. And also, her mouth got all, like, crazy, like, unhinged jaw. That was, like, the scariest part to me. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm ready for notes. I think I need a little direction because this movie was <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it's bonkers. It's bonkers. Uh, I guess first of all, give a little history of the like zombie movies. Okay. Uh, this was written by the same person who co-wrote Night of the Living Dead with George Romero. It was George Romero and John Russo, also credited as Jack Russo. Okay. They split up and had a disagreement about which way the uh, the franchise should go next. Okay. Then they, they wrote a contract where Russo kept the living dead portion and Romero would drop the living from his and just be dead. Oh. So 
there might be where you had some confusions because George Romero made Dawn of the Dead, Day yeah. of the Dead, yeah. Land of the Dead. Yeah. Uh, Russo wrote, uh, first he wrote a book that was Return of the Living Dead was much different than this. Oh, okay. Uh, because when it was adapted to screen, he wanted to change it all because he wanted to bring in the comedy elements. Oh, okay. Okay. And so that's kind of where they diverged. So did Romero, did those other movies that he made, or they're, they're more serious, like Night of the Living Dead? Yeah. Okay. All right. It's okay. I'm probably going to forget most of that. <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to come as a surprise to you at all. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, some of the zombie extras were paid a bonus to eat real calf brains oh no Mm Hmm. well that's very dangerous was this before we knew about mad cow disease <laughs> maybe um uh this movie was directed by dan o'bannon who also he wrote alien and total recall he was one of the writers on total recall can't wait to wear that shirt yeah <laughs> he directed this one but he also told them that he wouldn't ask them to do anything he wouldn't do. So he ate brains in front of them first. And then some of them agreed to do it for bonus. Um, well, shit. Um, I mean, get paid, I guess. But also hope you don't get mad cow disease. Huh? Anything goes. Go with the flow. Go with the flow, you know. They played it real loose. <laughs> It's the 80s, baby. Everything's fast and loose. Oh, one of the things you mentioned you liked was like the makeup and the puppetry and things like that. And you also mentioned at one part, Bert trips over something. He's like, I think that was unintentional. Speaking of both of those things, uh, the shot where the tar man mm -hmm. is in the barrel through the glass and it's leaking, like the gas starts leaking out and the face starts melting. You know, they did that by building up layers and layers of wax, mm -hmm. heating it to reveal everything underneath. But... What was unintentional was the glass cracking. Oh. So that just happened. That's cool. Happy little accident. Mm-hmm. Another thing you were surprised by was Trash's graveyard dance strip. Oh, the, the naked lady? Yeah. I I don't know why I didn't expect it. It's the 80s. I've seen plenty of movies where that's, you know, full frontal nudity is a thing. Well, it, well, it just was there suddenly. Um... <laughs> And just caught you off guard. It caught me off guard. Uh, and also, she kept on the leg warmers and not so many questions. That's fine. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, I read a story about that. Oh, boy. Is that on the day of the shoot, the first time, because they had to reshoot this, uh, the first time she had pubic hair. Okay. And a producer was visiting a set that day. And he... According to him and many others on set, threw a fit, started screaming at the directors and like, you can't do that. You can't show pubic hair on TV. And so the director had her shave and they reshot it. The director, the, the, that same producer saw it and apparently he just like, oh my God, it's even worse. You can see everything now. <laughs> but that's what? I'm sorry, this, who's, this, who's this director? He's such a dick. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of... Uh, Meta in some cases. Okay. Like, uh, you saw uh, Freddy's jacket on uh -huh. the back. It said, fuck yeah. you. Well, that's another thing they complained about the producers. Like, you can't show that on TV. No, like, you can't. It's true. So story. he reshot those scenes where it was visible with another red jacket that said television version on the back <laughs> of it. Oh. It says, this is where I got to go. Is it? Yep. So I'm just going to go over here and lay down for a bit. Uh, another thing about this director, and you were talking about unnecessary cursing or nudity he said in the in the uh, commentary track that he thought originally this movie was only going to appeal to uh, horny boys <laughs> surprise surprise but what he was surprised by was the amount of females that were in the audience and the amount of females who were fans of it so he said that since he saw that uh, going forward he would make sure if there was nudity in his movies that it would be equal there we <laughs> go rock on i'm proud of you be progressive with your nudity mm -hmm. that's what i appreciate show me that dick oh. <laughs> my wife <laughs> Uh, let me ask you this. Could you see anybody else playing the role of Bert? Oh, geez. I don't know. 
I don't know. You've obviously got somebody, so you tell me, because I'm just drawing a full blank. Okay. The reason I ask is because the role was originally offered to another actor. It was originally offered to Leslie Nielsen. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which would have been... <laughs> Oh, uh, but shit. he was he was he cost too much. That's fair. Yeah. 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 Uh, another thing about this movie is it is responsible for a lot of pop culture zeitgeist around zombies. Mm -hmm. This was the movie where it was popularized where they want brains okay. instead of just like flesh in general. OK, uh, this was the first time that running zombies were on screen. Okay, I was wondering where that because they certainly were not that fast in the other ones. First time where they could speak and they were in, you know, they had more than just basic urges. Yeah, like, like hunger. Actually, you know, using tools, communicating. They could talk, they could set traps. Yeah. <laughs> the like, policeman's on. <laughs> Some of my favorite bits. I, just, yep, come on in, guys. <laughs> uh, oh, also speaking of being in the 80s and playing it fast and loose. The scene where Tina is running away from Tar Man and going up the stairs and mm -hmm. falls through the stairs. Mm -hmm. She didn't know that was going to happen. Oh, shit. Oh. When they were out to lunch, the director had this the step replaced with a false one. So it was a genuine reaction. And it's also why she didn't immediately like get up and run. <laughs> oh, my God. Fuck that guy. <laughs> <laughs> I walked off set. I would have walked off set. Like, you trying to kill me? What the hell? Nah, I just want to make it real. It's fine. My concussion is real. My broken ankle is real. Uh, but yeah, that's most of the notes I have. Is there anything else you want to talk about? Anything in particular that uh, jumps out at you? No, I think that that's about everything. I think we've gone over. All right. You want to give it a rating? Yeah, uh, as I said before, I think this is probably one of those that certainly gets better as you watch it more and you're like, you notice more things and you can like laugh along with it uh, with with people. Uh, so I feel like I'll probably like it more as I watch it more. Uh, but overall, love the love the makeup, love the puppetry, love the goofy nature of it. And I love that everybody died, that it was not a good ending. It was it was a real, real rough one. I'm going to give this one an eight. This is a solid eight. What about you? Uh, 8.5 for me. There's okay. definitely a nostalgia factor in with this as well, because this is one of those that my older brother showed me. There's like, if you will leave me alone, I'll let you watch this movie. <laughs> just don't tell mom and dad. Yeah, just don't. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> loved it as a kid. Can you imagine why? Uh, yeah, um, because you're you. Uh <laughs> anyway, yeah, 8.5 for me. Okay. Pippin, while you're over there sitting in my chair. What would you rate this one? I'm sorry. Speak up. You're so far away. Ten brain beans. Mm. I saw that one coming. All right. I'll accept that. Well, there you go. You got an eight. Eight point five. Mm -hmm. Ten brain beans. Uh, you guys let us know what you think. What would you rate it? Um, based on, you know, the appreciation here, are there any other zombie flicks that you would suggest that kind of have like maybe a, a similar tone? If you have any additional behind the scenes information, tidbits, facts, you know, we love those. Drop those in the comments. Mm -hmm. And while you're doing that, if you did enjoy the video, please like the video. And if you haven't subscribed already to the channel, please do so. We greatly appreciate it. I think that's all from us. Yep. Y'all take care and we'll see you next time with another first time.